So I get to do this again because I just erased the video segment that I just did. Uh, good morning, YouTube. I just got done watching Chucky 2009 fire up that intergalactic harvester beast that he had built and drive it out of the shop. It smoked, it was noisy, made all kinds of stuff. I was rather uh, amazed that he could actually make a move, and I think he should put a, a brake on his drive shaft going into the transmission so that he could shift it while the engine is running. That would be a really simple thing to do. Just a, uh, either a drum or a brake caliper welded faster, which he is very capable of doing. But enough of that. Uh, yeah, I have the John Deere 7410 here which I am about to, and Mr. Tim just showed up with some speedy dry for this mess we've got going on here, which we don't really need to do because there's a pile of it there yet. But anyways, all I'm doing is making the connections to the, uh, to the, uh, 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 to this tractor, and why the hell, oh, these are just wires that I didn't hook back up again. How stupid of me. Uh, but anyways, it's easy enough to do. Uh, I have to do the linkages on the back side for the S selective control valves, SCV valves. Why did I disconnect those? I guess it doesn't matter. But anyway, um, the other part I have to do is actually the hydraulics, and there is an electrical connection there that has to be made at the tip of my finger, which that thing is laying on the bottom side and just hydraulics. But the hardest part is going to be the power takeoff shaft or the drive shaft that goes from the engine to that transmission because it actually has, uh, I want to put some grease in there. They're not dry, but they're not good. Uh, they're not bad. They're just, it's just like an oily oil is left in there. There's no actual grease. So, what's your trouble? What is that? That's punch. Why did that thing just piss on me? What are you doing? What? Such a brass punch. Why? What's wrong with my old brass punch? Well, didn't you say you were having problems? Huh? What? Some moisture. Yeah, I know. It's it's thawing out because of the heater. What'd you say about the brass punch? I said I got it for you because I thought you'd lost it. No, I, well, yeah, it's around here someplace. I just had it. But anyway, thanks, Tim. All right. So, I guess we're going to make those connections and get started on the rest of this tractor. You'll see this one fire up. It won't be as spectacular as Chucky 2009's, but it will do a job that it is. Okay, so all our connections are made as far as I know. Timothy's been working down there, cursing and swearing a little bit. Right, Tim? Yeah. You got the, everything where it needs to be? I'm just trying to get the engine turned. Huh? I'm getting the engine turned so I can get the other two bolts. Oh, okay. Well, while he's doing that, I'm going to explain a little bit what I did up here. Uh... Right up here, this guy. All these hoses, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hoses. Now, this hose here, see how it's kind of routed a little funny, goes up and around there? That is not the right hose for in here. <laughs> it just isn't. Uh, that hose is actually a hose out of the old uh, 6200 from uh, that job that I did, 6200 I did last winter, uh, Dad was working and he blew that hose up, okay, and uh, the only thing I had to even go find a hose off of was at 6200, so that's what I did, and of course I bought a new hose when I finished up that job. So, uh, yeah, for the most part, <coughs> I'm going to cough a little bit, for the most part we're just about ready to fire this thing up. Uh, no, we're not, because Tim's got linkages he's got to put on right there, the clutch linkage, which is okay. We can start it without that, I guess. Um, but I want to start it up and see if there's any leaks and anything up in here, and I want to get them clutch discs soaked up. So when he's done, ah, oh, I just hurt my leg. When he's done making those connections on that drive shaft, I'll start it up, and then uh, we'll let it run for a few minutes. Check for leaks. Uh, I know that I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the loader, the loader uh, hoses hooked up yet, one, two, three, four, but as long as I don't touch anything, they should not leak. If they do leak, then I'm going to have a little issue, but I don't think they're going to leak. Um, and I'm going to watch my oil level, which has settled to right about here from up here last night. So I know that it has soaked up some oil into those clutch discs, which is great. Um, yeah, so as soon as he gives me the go-ahead, we're going to start it up. Right, Tim? 
Yeah, and we don't want to turn it on while he's under there. I never did disconnect the battery to this thing either. Um, just no, not necessary. We weren't welding on it. We didn't do anything that had to do with the engine or electronic, but all we did do was slide the AS end away from it. So anyway, I'll wait for him and we'll get on with that. All right, Mr. Tim. I actually missed the initial startup, but we did find an oil leak. It's underneath there. I, uh, I had loosened up a, uh, a hose and forgot that I had done it. So anyways, take two. Let's fire this bitch up and see where she goes. All right. Now, um, the oil leak, I had forgotten to loosen, to tighten that one hose right there, so it was leaking, so that's fixed. We're good there. We have no oil in the sight glass, so we're going to have to put oil in her. And uh, it actually sounds pretty good. Um, I'm not seeing any oil leaks now at all. I have not hooked up my loader linkages yet because we're going to be replacing that. And like I said earlier, I have not hooked up these for the loader, the hydraulics on the loader. But other than that, this tra oh yeah, and I forgot I haven't. Timothy hasn't gotten the linkages hooked up for the uh, for the shifting, so that's another issue we have to contend with. So Mr. Tim's going to pump oil. Go ahead and put it in the. Go ahead and put it in the little, the, that one gallon container. Do one gallon at a time till it's full. That's all. We're just going to let it run a little while before we make any other adjustments or finish hooking up the linkages because I really want those clutch discs to soak up really nice. So that's, that's what the plan is. Uh, anyway, Tim's going to put oil in here and I'm going to go back to uh, hooking stuff up. So I got it all. I'm just checking to make sure I don't have any oil leaks up front here and make sure that the wires and harnesses are all where they belong. And everything seems to be working properly from what I can see before I go ahead and put those vents back in. Which I'm thinking I'm going to have an issue with that. This hose right here. I think I got it flipped the wrong way. Matter of fact, I know I do because I have this vent here that's got a gonna have to get flipped over. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna shut her down and flip that. Okay, so Tim is going to start it up. He just finished. He just finished uh, uh, hooking up the linkage to the clutch. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna start the tractor up, and we're going to see. He's going to see if it moves forward and backwards at all. So he's gonna put her in gear. it in a range. Now let's see what happens. Brakes! You can't take it out of a range. Put, put it in a range. Put your foot on the brake. We may have a problem. Okay. We got a problem. What the hell's wrong with it? It's stuck in gear somewhere. Uh, electronically. Put it in reverse. Oh, it's just got forward. Well, don't do that. Why is it stuck in a gear? Oh, we gotta tear it all apart. Hmm. What the hell could be wrong? Air in the thing? Start the tractor up. That lever. Did it move? Did it lock in? All right, back the other way. Put it in reverse. See if you can get. Put your foot on the clutch. See if you can get it to move. Do that again. Take it out of gear. Not that. Why is that thing stuck in gear? It's like there's a range that ain't right. That's weird. 
Um, Chet.